Hi, Maria here. And today, let's use a block or two blocks if you have them to open up the shoulders a little bit more to uh, work out those, those areas that sometimes can be problematic. Take your blocks alongside, have them ready, and bring your hands to your knees. Begin to roll your shoulders back starting to warm up the shoulders. So do a few rolls back and then when you're ready, a few rolls forward, just to stretch out there, maybe going back and forth a few times. Bring your hands together at center, reach the arms all the way up and open them out. Inhale, expand and lift through the sternum. As you exhale, hug it in, giving yourself a nice tight hug. As you inhale, open the arms back, lift the sternum and reach. Exhale, cross the other arm over. So each time you cross, switch arms. Inhale, open, expand, lift the sternum. Exhale, hug it in. Continue with those movements, inhaling to expand and lift, and exhaling to hug in and cross one arm over. Good. Continue moving that way, opening and hugging in. Opening through the front line of your body, through the collarbones, front of the shoulders, and hugging in, pressing into the back of your heart, opening up through the back of the shoulders. Move there a few times, maybe about six or seven times. So you feel your body starts to warm up a little bit more. The shoulders start to release a little bit. And then come back to center. Take your arms all the way up. Reach them out to the sides. And inhale, reach them all the way up through center. Exhale, open them out to the sides. Exhale, reach them up through center exhale out to the sides opening good inhale through center arms reach up and exhale open coming into a fuller range of motion with the arms now take your block place your block between your hands and extend the arms forward so the arms are about shoulder height or so begin to lift the arms up so the block is over your head keep your hands at shoulder distance extend the arms as much as possible and continue to hold on to that block as you relax the shoulders away from your ears and create length through both sides of your body. Continue to hold a block. I know it starts to feel heavy even though it probably doesn't weigh much but yes it does start to get a little heavy there. Begin to bend your elbows back placing the block behind your head and once again make sure that your elbows are hugging in not opening out to the sides maintaining that shoulder distance with the elbows as much as possible. Continue to hold that block, drawing the shoulders back, making sure that they are going back, not forward, and lift the block once again, reaching it over your head, extending through both sides. Bend the elbows, take the block behind your head. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, bend your elbows, take the block behind your head once again. Inhale, the block lifts. This time as you exhale, bring the block forward once again at shoulder height or so. Bend your elbows, keep the elbows at shoulder height. As you exhale, squeeze the elbows in towards each other, see if you can touch, and then open with your inhale. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in, and open with your inhale. Good. Exhale, elbows in, inhale to open. Exhale, elbows in, open with your inhale. Exhale, bring your elbows in towards each other and open, inhale. Take the block out in front of you once again and reach it up above your head. Continue to lengthen once again through both sides of your body, sitting up nice and tall and really engaging through your core. Continue to extend and reach. Continue to ground down into whatever is touching the earth. Bring the block out in front of you and release. And notice how your shoulders feel. Maybe circle them back and forward a few times. Good. Reach the arms behind you. Interlace the fingers and open the front of the shoulders up as you inhale, stretching out and resting the hands on the low, uh, floor behind you. Good. So now take your blocks and place them about shoulder distance or so as you come into a child's pose prep. Have your knees out, a little wider than your hips. And when you place the blocks, you can start at the lowest height of the block 
Bring your elbows to the blocks. Make sure that the elbows are at shoulder distance, not splaying out to the side like I'm showing you here, but that you actually have them at shoulder distance. So that's not really doing too much for you right there. You want to place them directly in front of the shoulders and then bring the hands together. Walk your elbows forward and let your head come between the blocks. Maybe the forehead gets to the floor. Take your thumbs to the back of your neck or continue to reach the arms up if bringing them to the back of your neck is too much. If this feels really easy and you can get the forehead to the floor pretty easily, then you can turn the blocks to the medium height and try the same thing, bringing your forehead to the floor with the block up a little higher. And if that still feels easier, easy, you can go to the highest height of the block. Just see where you need to be today. Hold it for about five, six breaths. And maybe if you feel a little more open, you can go a little higher. If not, come out of your pose and then come back into it with the blocks at the same height. Remember, you want the forehead to comfortably come to the floor. If it doesn't, then maintain that lower height of the blocks. And once again, the second time, hold it for about five or six breaths. Let your hips relax towards the heels. And feel free to have a block under your hips if your hips are really lifting or a blanket under your knees if you have issues with your knees, tightness, or, or any strain in the knees. You can also do this on a desk if you have issues with your knees and you can't easily come into child's pose, then place your elbows on your desk and do the same thing. After you take your five or six breaths, come back up and swing your legs forward or sit back on your heels and circle your shoulders one way and then the other. So release your arms and then reach them up. Hold on to opposite elbow above your head and bend towards the right side. And once again, you can do this with your legs out in front of you or sitting like I am. Come back up and bend to the other side, extending the opposite side of your body. Come back to center. Release your arms. Good. Now take the block and turn it up a little higher. You will need one block, maybe two. It really depends on how open the side of your body is. Swing your hips to your left side. Interlace the hands behind you and start to bend towards your right side as you place your elbow on the block. Spin the ribs open and take that back arm, that top arm back, and the shoulder down. If you like, you can lower your block, or if you need to, you can come up higher on the block. So just see where your body is today without forcing. So this is a nice stretch for the side of your body and for your shoulders as well. Opening up through the shoulders. After about five or six breaths, come back up and switch sides, sending the hips to your left side, uh, right side, and interlacing the fingers behind you. Begin to bend towards the block. Bring your left elbow to the block and spin the ribs open, sending that right shoulder towards the sky and back behind you so you're not crowding your head. You want to create length everywhere that you can and openness everywhere that you can. Good. Continue with your deep, slow breath. After about five or six breaths here, you can come back up. Good job today. I hope that your shoulders feel a little better. Go ahead and move them any way that feels good for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Don't forget to subscribe and to share with your friends.